Hello, I'm David Crum, and let's get right into talking about the job market in Greenville, South Carolina. 2022 has been another great year for the job market in the upstate. Taking from the Greenville Economic Development Corporation, Greenville County is the centerpiece of the region considered to be the economic engine of South Carolina. Greenville County has grown into a large and diverse metropolitan area and one of the Southeast region's premier areas for business. Over the past 35 years, Greenville has transformed itself from the textile capital of the world to a destination for a diverse industry base that includes corporate office, manufacturing, and warehouse distribution operations, and more. I'm assuming here that you're curious about what the job market is like for someone considering living in the Greenville or surrounding area, and we're going to dive into the industries that are driving the upstate economy. However, if you're considering moving your business to the upstate, we would love to add you to the mix, and I would love to introduce you to my father, who has been a leader in the economic development and corporate finance arena for more than 25 years. I'm going to cover some of what's happening in the upstate job market right now, but I'd also like to introduce a great resource for job seekers in Greenville and a man who always has his finger on the pulse of the job scene in our area, Bob Prock. Bob Please jump in here. So my name's Bob Prock, a uh, resume writer in Greenville, South Carolina. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why this is a great place to live. Um, our job market in the 30 plus years that I've been a resume writer uh, here in this area has just been unbelievable for clients, particularly right now, even with everything that's happened in the country with inflation and COVID, we continue to be extremely low unemployment um, compared to other parts of the country. About a month ago, the last statistic I saw, unemployment in the upstate was about 2.5%. I think it's 3.5% nationally. But again, we're just a super job market and um, we have so many diverse things going on here. When I first was a resume writer here, it was mostly textiles, but it's really changed. We're much more diverse with lots of big employers, General Electric, BMW. We just have a lot of Michelin tire, just a lot of good um, big employers in this area. So for my clients, it's been a super job market almost the whole time that I've been here. And the upstate, I just really believe is just a great place to live in, in all kinds of ways. And one of the things I've noticed as a resume writer is that if people are on a vacation and they go to our downtown and they experience the walking bridge that we have that's unbelievable, a waterfall in the middle of downtown. A chef told me recently who I did a resume for that downtown Greenville and all the high rise buildings and everything has 110 restaurants. So plenty of places to eat with lots of good food. Just really, really a good place to look for jobs. And, you know, as a resume writer, as an example, if you you even put in like an Indeed.com, a great site to search for jobs, if you put in just Greenville, South Carolina, I wanted to see all the jobs. There's just lots of, lots of jobs on there. Lots of jobs on the LinkedIn job database too. So, and, and this area just continues to grow. When I moved here over 30 years ago, it was more like a small Southern city. It's really just a really vibrant middle-sized city at this time, growing fast with lots of opportunities for entrepreneurs, for people who need jobs. So just been a great place to live, great place to work. Um, and again, if you need a resume, my name is Bob Prock. My website is expertresume.com. My email is expertresume at yahoo.com. And I do people's resumes from around here. And even when they think they're going to move here, I have people call me from all over the country just to get them started before they get here. So love to help you with resume needs when you need it. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate you joining us for a little bit. If anyone's looking for help with their resume, Bob is a true professional, full-time resume writer who can put his expertise to work for you. As Bob mentioned, Greenville's job market has been bringing people to the area for years. You can see here on this chart, the unemployment rate in Greenville and its close neighbors remain low, hovering around 3%. Even moving further away, the numbers are very positive. The area is in gray, 
You can fill in with colors matching nearby cities. They just haven't been measured here. If you're considering a move to the Greenville area, I would love to help you find a great home here. Reach out to me or join my Facebook group on tips for moving to Greenville, South Carolina, linked below. Some of the largest driving factors in the area's job market are big industry, green, and tech jobs. Looking at this information from the Greenville Area Development Corporation, you can see some of the largest hires in our area. Please note that some of the biggest job providers are just outside of Greenville, so they're not counted here on this chart. Those include BMW, Bosch Rexroth, Samsung, and more. BMW itself provides over 11,000 jobs on site in its Greer location. Many of these industries drive the labor market in the Greenville area. As you can see here, salaries have a range of spreads that put the median salary in our area at fifty dollars to $60,000 range. The next graphic I have coming up looks at the largest hiring by comparing the advertised jobs right now. If you or someone you know is a registered nurse, Greenville would love to have you move here. If you're considering a move to the Greenville area, there is likely a job waiting for you when you get here. If you need more personal guidance on the largest job providers or how to get a job here, I know that Bob, whose information I've linked below, would be the first phone call I would make. To bring this to real estate, the continual influx of job seekers has led to a consistently growing population in the Greenwood area for decades now. This, combined with an undersupply of new housing, has kept home prices moving upward. Even with the current slowing of the market due to interest rates, we are still in a seller's market here, and home prices have leveled out some, but have not started to retreat. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more weekly content about Greenville and the upstate of South Carolina.